Alright, so I have done a video touring how I could bed wall shop here. It's actually, it didn't, the tour wasn't on this, I just moved this from over there, someone altered it ever so slightly. Basically not at all, again, nothing changed. However, there is a much more complicated one that you can make now. It is an updated bedwall shop. And let's go. It is using an NPC, which is something I haven't used before. I, I don't think I've used it before in a video, at least. I might have, I'm not sure. And yes, I am wearing leather boots. My feet need to be, can't be sore. Anyway, so what this is is an NPC. You get one by doing slash summon npc and then you get one and you can customize i'll show you the customizations now you can pick block it to get in its, M its spawn egg if you can use pick block on your device you can spawn them in so that that is it for that now on the customization before i go into how to do it so basically you can change its name here you can change the color using the section symbol which use a search up section symbol copy and paste that basically if we can hear disc notifications in the background very sorry that's it really. Uh, you can edit the dialogue, so as you can see here it says certain things, I'll explain it later. You can change its appearance like this, so as you can see in the background it's changing its appearance either like this I believe. Yeah, yeah, you can edit the dialogue, so you can write whatever you want here. And then these are buttons, okay? And these advanced setting settings, you can add commands. So I've got a command here, and it's button mode on and the button is called by wall. Same. Same here for uh, by Iron Sword, and same here for by Enderpearl. And when you go into dialogue, it comes up like this. You see? And now let's see it in action. I think so. Let's actually before we do that, let's go into my inventory, creative inventory, get myself five Enderpearls, eight gold, and let's get myself five iron as well. And then let's change myself to survival. Alright, so, you right-click on it, or whatever, for your device, and it comes up like this when you're in survival. Bed Wars Shop. Buy your items here. 16 wool for 4 iron, iron sword for 7 gold, and a pearl for 4 emeralds. So, as you can see, I have 5 iron ingots on me. If I click this, buy a wool, and I have 1 iron ingot, and I have 16 red wool, because this is the red team's shop. And I can build with it just like, just however I want. And if I try to buy it again, so there's a cut there, it will not work, okay? However, there was something gone slightly wrong here, which I will try and explain later. And with an iron sword, I have eight gold, sorry, eight gold, yeah, for iron sword, get seven for one. I don't get another one. It does clear. If you buy an iron, if you try to buy an iron sword for seven gold and you have six gold, it won't give you the iron sword. However, it will unfortunately clear the six gold out of your inventory. And that, I'm not sure if there's a way to fix that. You can do it so it works with money, so on like the scoreboard, oh, come on, it has to rain. So on the scoreboard on the right of the screen, you can see you can make that with money and you can do things like that which make it work exactly, but I haven't done that. Anyway, enderpearl, same deal, but again it won't work and you can use the enderpearl, woohoo, exciting times. Anyway, I'll show you how to make this, but first of all, when you're saying wool, these data values. So, this isn't the same for kung or anything like that, but for wool, give a s wool, and then the amount is to 1 in the data value. So as you can see here... If I gave, if I did a data value of one, I get orange wool, two magenta, three light blue, four yellow, five lime, six pink, seven grey, eight light grey, nine cyan, ten purple, eleven blue, twelve brown, thirteen green, fourteen red, fifteen black, sixteen white. <gasps> Those are sixteen defenders for wool. I believe they are different on concrete, etc., etc. But it works for wool. Um, let's see. Works for wool. Anyway, now let's do it. So I'm not going to show you the wool one. Well, I am, but the, do not do the wool one. Do the wool one like I've done this one. So, for your bed wardrobe, all you need to do is you click, uh, you click advanced settings and you add it. And you fill, and then the coordinates of, so for buy wool, you fill this block of redstone, that's the command that you need to use. And then button mode activated, that's it. And the same for the other two. And then that's all you need to do, and when they press it, it will activate these command blocks, which will make it work, basically. So I'm not going to ignore the wool one, because I want to show you how to make the iron saw one. So first of all, you're standing here. This just t set this block back to, whoops, back to air, because obviously you don't want to have, what's it called? You don't have a thing there, because it would just block up everything. And then next, clear at P, or whatever, so you make sure that it's that player. Gold ingot one, clear them of five, and clear them of another one, basically. And that's so that makes it so that if, if it doesn't clear them correctly, etc, etc, it won't work. 
Anyway, and then give a PI and sword one. So the this one is in, just impulse, unconditional use, versus use a chain, conditional, always active. They have to be conditional. If they're not conditional, they won't work, basically. Same with an ender pearl. This is going to be quite short tutorial, actually. It's exactly the same with an ender pearl. Fills this block with air, clear them with emeralds, and two emeralds, another emeralds, and then gives them an ender pearl. Same with wall, but um, the wall one I didn't make it properly. You still want to clear one iron, two iron, one iron, and give them the wall with the data value. And I'd give up P wall 16 for 16 wall, and then the data value 14, which, if you didn't pay attention, just so happens to be red. That's the way it works. It's very simple, and this is good for bed wars. There are three different bed war shops. That's all I'm going to say, as far as I'm aware. You can have the button shop, the NPC shop, and my favourite by far, the chest UI. I might do a tutorial on this chest UI here. I'm not sure, this is going into a different video now. Oh well, uh, I might do a tutorial on it, I'm not really sure. The only problem is, the data values, um, I haven't used data values much, much, and I try to clear it, but it doesn't really work. Anyway, look. Get that going to that, get that going to that. Armour, go into that. Food, go into that. Archery, go into that. Missing to go into that. This one's the best way, obviously, because you can do that and you can just, like, spam by this. Although it won't actually work, because... I don't, I don't know how to use data values properly, so if I if I try to clear clear with data value of 5 and give them clear with data value of 3, it'll continue to clear. I'm not really sure how it works. If anyone knows, let me know. I'd really appreciate that. And, yes, that last part was me getting slightly on a tangent, but it was worth it. It was good. Chest wise are amazing. Anyway... If you did enjoy this fairly short tutorial, do consider leaving a like down below, it goes a long way, and su subscribe for more gameplay and tutorials, etc. I'm saying etc a lot at the moment. Comment down below any other video ideas you have to see, I really appreciate the suggestions for tutorials, gameplay, challenges, etc, etc. Oh, I'm saying it too much. Gameplay challenges or whatever. And join my Discord, there's that link in the description. For my Instagram, there's that link in the description. By the time this comes out, I would have done a video and talking about giveaways in the future. You will have Discord only and Instagram only giveaways at some point, so you need to be sure to be following me on there and join my Discord for that. The time links description, just check them all out. I really appreciate that, and I'll see you in a couple days with another video. Peace.